Today we are on location in an undisclosed location and you're gonna have to excuse Mitchell. He is uh, no longer with us. He, uh... That food got the better of him. <laughs> the leftovers. <laughs> well, we'll see if he recovers. He might not and that's okay. So to replace him, we've brought in Daniel, but that's too close to me, so... We're gonna call him Neil. Neil? Yeah, use like the two dots over the U. Black tar heroin, kids. Stay in school. Now we brought Neil here because uh, he's kind of an expert in train tracks. I, I think you were like really into them when you were like three or four years old, right? Yeah. So he's gonna be able to answer any questions we have. Now, the reason why we're here is we need to find a section of this track that we can take back into the shop and uh, see if the water jet can cut it in half. So brought a hacksaw, just, just pick a section, just start going to town. While Elliot's cutting that track, because it's going to take a couple minutes, I'd like to take a second to thank today's sponsor. So Mitchell just texted me and he's like, do you want to sponsor a video? And I'm like, sure. And he's like, okay, it goes live tomorrow. And uh, I didn't have anything done. So this is what you guys are going to get. It's me in front of this house. Um, I make rings. I'm Patrick. I've been on the channel before. If you want to order one, here's what we're going to do. I'll give you 20% off on my website and then 20% of your purchase will also go to the water jet channel. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, I've got literally 15 minutes to film this. So sorry, it's not better, but here's some of the rings I make. We'll put up some pictures. Check this one out. It's made out of actual authentic meteorite. This one's made out of carbon fiber. It's super lightweight and extremely durable. It's awesome for jewelry. And then check these bad boys out. These glow in the dark. They'll charge naturally throughout the day just from sunlight or light bulbs or anything like that. And then in the dark, they'll glow. Anyways, guys, those are some of my rings. You should go buy some so that I can pay Dan and Mitchell money. Yeah. Ugh, should do. Nice. You pretty, did that all with one hacksaw blade? That was pretty easy, surprisingly. <laughs> Everybody's been saying in the comments and wondering where I get my gains. Took you so long, it's already rusted on the ends. <laughs> <laughs> we made it out alive. We've got our section of track and the estimated cut time on this is around three hours, so. I should just use the hacksaw again. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much quicker. <laughs> It is finally done and it only took 167 minutes and 16 seconds. <laughs> that was a doozy. Okay, pull it apart. Let's inspect the damage. I'm not expecting this to look really clean. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That was an understatement. <laughs> That's weird Dude. that just in that section, it chewed it out. It's weird, because like at the very start, it's very clean looking. And even through there, it's okay, but... Yeah, that was, that was strange. Looks like we cut just about every slat under it in half, too. Yeah. Those are all done. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing those slats were mostly gone anyway, so... Okay, now this is what we brought Neil in here for. Can you uh, describe to us the anatomy real quick of a uh, train track rail? Yes, so you see the cross section here. This is great for giving us a visual of the uh, transverse plane. Um, you got a great view of the base. Not the kind that Skrillex likes though. <laughs> and then this is the uh, giraffe neck section of the railroad tie. And this is the slidey boy where the wheel goes. Okay. 
It, it all makes sense now. Before this, I think the thickest thing we cut was an anvil shaped object from Harbor Freight and it was about four inches thick. This on the height measurement was six and three quarters inches. Sheesh. If this gets a million likes, we'll do a train wheel next. Those are pricey and large. And it'd be hard to cut one off a train with a hacksaw, so. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a minute.